success or happy morning paper, what qualities do you think you would need? Your high school diploma, a college degree, beauty, brains, pull, popularity. All of us want to make a success of our lives, and while some careers call for special talents and special skills, there are qualities we all can develop to bring success to each one of us as a person. Take Bill here. Success to him right now means getting a job, and he's checking up on himself to see if he has the qualifications mentioned in the ad. As he makes the rounds, he finds that poise, radiant health, and good appearance are of great importance in the adult world, that success, while it depends on a number of things, includes these characteristics. He sense these things in school, of course, as most of you do, and mom and dad talk some about it at home, but few of us take the time to really study the subject. You hear a lot about personality in high school and college, about he or she is a good personality, poor one. Look at her posture. Here's Tom, stiff as a ramrod. His shoulders are braced back. Instead of being balanced and ready to move, he's on a deuce's fatigue. Susie slouches, and thereby, instead of appearing as an alert, friendly young lady, she seems tired all the time. Now, Jack may be an A student, but his personality and poise would be improved if his posture were not so lopsided. Some of these posture faults go back to our kindergarten days and before. Parents and teachers, realizing the importance of posture, appearance, and physical and mental health, give more thought to it than formerly. The chair must fit even the smallest child if he's to learn good posture habits. Hips should touch the back of the chair, and the feet should be flat on the floor. Later on, when used, health conscious teachers fit the dead child instead of merely assigning a child to a desk, as was done too often in the past. Now we know that boys and girls, too, should learn the feel of sitting correctly, because good poise and balanced posture not only improve appearance and cut down fatigue, but they make it easier to concentrate on the lessons or whatever is at hand. If you have formed some bad functional posture habits, talk to your teacher who will help you correct them if you will take the time and effort. With good posture, a straight line should run from the tip of your skull down through your neck, shoulders, hips knees and insteps. If the line is fairly straight, then your line of balance is good. If your head sticks out like a turtle, or if you slump to one side or slouch on one foot, or if your tummy sticks out, your line of balance is bad, and the strain is placed on your muscles to keep you from falling. Bad posture is continued, and you can't work well or enjoy playing your favorite sport. We won't run a straight line from the tip of your skull down through your insteps, but here is an adequate substitute to practice at home with the aid of a partner. Stand with your back to a wall, heels, shoulders, and calves of legs should touch the wall. Let your partner check you. Head, shoulders, calves of legs, heels, all touching wall. Head, shoulders, heels, all in line. If so, good. If not, practice till you are in good posture. Try to get the balanced feel, and then hold that line. Let's check on this young man's standing posture. Head high, as if balancing a book on the head. Chest out. Abdomen and back as flat as possible. Knees very lightly flexed, not locked. Weight slightly forward over the balls of the feet and distributed evenly on each foot. Feet parallel, about six inches apart. This posture check is as good for the fair sex as it is for the rugged male. The sense of balance you gain from it is truly remarkable. It gives you a feeling of poise, and without poise, no one can be really attractive. If you have a space at the back of your waistline, try to flatten the hollow of your back by pulling in against the wall. Good posture depends on skill, not strength. So practice this posture over and over, and carry it with you wherever you go. You'll be surprised how much better you'll feel once you've gained balanced posture. And you men, relax. Remember the straight line of balanced posture. Don't slump, but don't be a ramrod either. People with good posture enjoy life, enjoy going places and doing things, 
and they become less tired because of that balanced feeling. Of course, without good health, one can never achieve that balanced feeling, and an important part of good health is proper eating. Here's a good way to start the day right. Citrus fruit, whole grain cereal, milk and cocoa. Don't skimp on breakfast, it's important. And take time for lunch. Take time to eat the foods that are good for you, like this tempting cheese sandwich, green and yellow vegetables, and fruit. We'll leave the carbohydrates and the vitamins, the enzymes, and the proteins for the science class, and rely on the seven basic foods as recommended by the National Research Council. These are milk and its products, meat, cheese, fish or eggs, green and yellow vegetables, potatoes, citrus fruit every day and other fruits in season, cereals, some whole grain and enriched, and bread and butter give you the 50 odd chemical constituents you need for proper nutrition. You can get them all in these simple but attractive meals which are easy to cook. Because good nutrition, posture, proper rest, and physical activity are the basis for a good personality, modern teachers of physical education have developed interpretive exercises that can be fun as well as helpful. The emphasis is on fresh air, mass rhythms, and interpretive dances, which call into play all the muscles and bones functioning together for good posture. This open air pageant is a good example of the new idea in physical education. These folks are having fun as well as exercising, and they have their eyes on the future. Remember, if you want to have fun, if you want to really enjoy life, practice good posture. Get that balanced feeling. Eat good foods regularly in your three meals a day to maintain good health. Get enough rest and exercise in the fresh air to release tensions and have fun. Radiant health, good appearance, poise, and good posture will help you enjoy life, not only as an individual, but as a member of the community and as a citizen of America.